Alright, he's blowing everything here. Fuck. I already fucked up. Okay. And he just used a one hour cooldown. I did tell him. Okay, we wait. Like, all it takes is one person to fuck up cooldowns. Okay. Well, I wasted a manual crowd pummeler charge. Uh, this- he wasted a fucking one hour cooldown. So... Four minutes. So is there one O or not? No, <laughs> it doesn't count. It's literally just act like nothing even happened. The only thing that happened is now Clack is missing a one hour cooldown. It's not, um, it wouldn't help him that much because it's like a level 30 pet that he summoned. It's pretty minuscule, but still it's the fact he doesn't have it is stupid now. It's a long cooldown. It, uh, the little fucking baby Dragon Link doesn't do shit. It was 49. What? That shit's level 30. Oh, dual flag down. They want to go right now? Oh, fuck. Now I don't have PvP trinket. Jesus. Just just tell him that we will kind of skip the drill and go for the next one. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Sounds. Was I? Oh, fuck. They're, they're not listening to you here, uh, Chance. Yeah, I don't know. They I, don't hear you. Uh, I, w I, was, I thought I was talking to my stream. I didn't realize I was unmuted in Discord. It's my bad. Uh, I'm trying to... I don't know how to put the... Fuck it. We'll just duel. I don't care. Okay, so I'm basically doing this duel. I'll get Trinket later in the duel, so it's fine. Wish I had Trinket for that one. Jesus Christ. Uh, this guy is pulling so much mana into trying to kill me right here. Like, wow. He is going all in on just damage. I'm gonna try and save Innervate. High risk, potentially high gain. I'm gonna get feared here, it's gonna suck. There it is. Whoa. I mean, I, I get PvP drinking up cooldown, I'm good with this. Okay. And fear again.
Come here, you little bitch. All right, AGM that mind blast. Fear me, trinketing that. I'm over it. Rank one buffs for cover. Back in cat. I gotta kill him here. Come here, you little bitch. Oh my god. Please die. Thank you, god. That's one. Uh... No charges. Delete. New manual crowd pummeler. So now, let's go ahead and put this on. I didn't use Innervate that duel. Uh, what's better, Mechanical Dragonling or Chicken? Fuck it, I'm gonna use Net. So this time, I'll be immune to fear for 30 seconds. This is going to be way more fun for me. Oh, but he trinketed and feared me right away before I popped it. That was so smart. I like that from him. That hurt. Big silence. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> it's frustrating too, because yeah, that mind blast takes out half my health, so he blankets me. I try to get NS off, but Jesus. All right, immune the fear. Wait, crowd pummeler, right? It's gonna healing touch right away, honestly. And I'm gonna innervate too. I bet he won't dispel it. Nah, he ain't dispelling it. Ooh, I don't think you realize he didn't get it. This poor guy. Fuck this blackout proc. Oh, this little oom um shadow priest. Oh, this poor guy. Now, I know he wants to fear me. Fuck. Trick the fear, maybe? He can fear me right here. This is fine. There we go. Actually, it's not fine. Oh, thank God that didn't crit. Uh, can I get to him, please? F 
fuck, I need to get my rip to land. Please. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Now I have to drink. And now I can fear again, but trinket. Here we go. Swap trink or stuff here. Frenzied region. I'm gonna kill myself. The raid boss is down. Almost everybody competing today is streaming, so if you guys want to go check him out, throw some support in their streams, be very much appreciated. Um, you know, the fact that these competitors have, have been as patient as we have is just absolutely amazing, and a credit to everybody still here for the tournament, um, including you guys in the chat. Much love to you guys as well. But, um, uh, but yeah, you can definitely check them out on all of their streams. Kill me. Alright, so who's next? Oh, it's Peo and Burr. Okay. No, eating is not banned, nor is drinking. Both of them are okay. And here we go. Looks like Peo opens up with a sap onto Burr. Once again, the, the Guzu strat, or should I say the Pashiro strat, that's the first time we saw this strat implemented. Peo opens up onto the pet and pops his battle chicken, which enrages now the cock is red and swollen all over Burr, and Burr can't do anything what about it. Is Huge this? damage coming out from Peo into the net. The hunter is trapped and will be hunted, and Burr goes oh, down. Massive, massive, massive amounts of damage. He must have crit like three times on a Sinister Strike there. Burr getting sliced. And uh, it looks like Burr goes down. Literally. Jeez. Mental damage from Peo. I like the fact that he timed the enrage with killing the pet. Um, and Burr coming out of that sap, that was very well played by Peo. Very creative. It looks like Peo, if I'm not mistaken, is going for the uh the no. He, he goes for He goes for the little campfire. Of course, oh, of shit. course. Sorry. Uh Peo, the old Zach Fitzlag gave me five say, yo, good shit, man. Thank you. It was a little rough. Reminding us why we love this game so much and why we love Peo so much. Guys, check him out. Twitch.tv slash Peo. Really, really funny guy. Good friend and uh, great entertainer. So we are going to wait, I guess, five minutes for Burr. Um, was he flagged for PvP? Is that what happened? So now I'm probably going to be fighting Peo next. It didn't, it didn't affect the matchup, though. Okay. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and put AGM on. That was all pay was damage. Pay did a lot of damage to Burr in that kidney shot. I think it was like two, it was like three Sinister Strike crits there. Pay using the Adrenaline Rush to pump out all that damage now. Oh, I think we're going over here. So this does favor Sony. Sorry, not Sony. I'm not sure. This does favor Payo a little bit because Burr has to unflag, which means Payo has his Adrenaline Rush back up again. And Payo just repeats the last strategy he did last time. He should be able to take this match 2-0. Oh, we're just not letting him get here. Very, very potent. And him not having the access to that in the second round, if Burr wasn't flagged, would mean that Burr would most likely win that. As it is a huge source of the... Wait, what is... What are we doing over here? Toe-to-toe -to -toe with that hunter. You can see Peo here honoring his fallen comrade. Again, a lot of love and respect between these two players. Where's They've Bean going? they debated together for the past month and a half. Burr, the trusty sidekick to Peo, as he... Uh, as he's been mining other people's mithril nodes, and it's been very, very fun to watch this past month. All right, while we wait for the timer, I'm gonna go to the bathroom since I feel like a blimp. Be right back. No problem. Like, what the hell do we, we take the fucking scenic route? See, I think the Alliance are trying to break into the tournament, but there's only one way to get to where we are. And so we're kind of like, 300 fighting them at like a funnel and they can't get in the winner is gonna get paid today so usually i uh, i send out payment for the tournaments within 48 hours hopefully um that's what i did last time and, and hopefully it'll be the same this time uh, i think we might be able to pay everybody out today on stream if they're still streaming after this i think that'd be really hype that's what we did last time Uh, they're waiting to res him for the PvP flag to drop. You see how he's he's currently flagged. So I'm guessing that is uh, that is what they're waiting for. Who won last time? Last time it was uh, Venruki won first place, Snut second place, Seedu third place, Clack got fourth, and then in the next dueling tournament, I believe Seedu got first. I think Venruki got second, and um. Uh, I can't remember who got third place. I think it was it was Venru it was uh was it Sidu and then like three or four mages after that. It was Zico. Okay, Zico is third. I got you. Okay. It was a great tournament, by the way, guys. Again, you know, hosted by uh, by some friends of mine. You guys definitely probably tuned in. Uh, S Band, uh, Rich Campbell, and uh, this guy you probably never heard of him. Uh, Asmund Gold, he's new to Twitch. If I win, check I don't think I will. Gold, give him some uh, but if I were to get first, grinding. He's grinding the rankings. I don't know where I'd put the money. Probably to charity or something. Ben is already up. No, he's not on. Actually, real quick, while we wait for uh, we wait for Bird of Mana up. We will give it to like a right random now. Fortnite streamer. Uh, there's a lower bracket for this tournament, so Venruki has not been eliminated by any means. Be like, ah, uh, eeny meeny miny. 13-year-old. Here's his uh, PayPal. Yeah, give it to them but again I, I really don't think i'm gonna win like you saw how tough it was to beat clack there and clack isn't even optimized he hasn't even opted he's not even optimally geared fuck words were hard Yeah, I use nades. I should have used nades last duel. The problem is like once I go cat form, leaving it is effectively costing me 330 mana. Like I, I try and get value out of it. Uh, and I can't throw nades while in cat. So my problem is I need to throw nades before I go into cat. And I just always miss the opportunity. And once I realize that it, it's like, oh, fuck, I can't shift out and throw a nade now. It's just, yeah. Yeah, he's stuck down there now. I don't know what his plan is. Either that or he's trying to bait people. Oh, Peo and Burr. Here we go. Avoid that trap. The trap isn't there in Burr. Trinketing absolutely nothing there. In straight into a aspect of the cheetah. Instantly dazed. Doesn't cancel that. And Peo's just going to dispatch him super fast with the adrenaline rush. GG. 
Yeah, Burr doesn't have a lot of stamina. From Peo, and it looks like Burr, I'm not sure if the, the trap was resisted. I, I think Peo might have actually done a pretty good job uh. hiding away from it while staying in melee range, using that melee leeway to have the distance. So it looks like Burr was a little bit aggressive there, but I do want to give a big shout out to Burr, guys. Um, we had a last minute cancellation, basically, and he filled in. And uh, obviously this beta, unfortunately, it's been very limited. It would have been awesome for more people to be in it, but be that as it may, Burr came in and filled the last spot. So... Can we get some can we get some hearts in the in the chat for Burr? Um, honestly, thank you so much for, for participating participating Burr and having us, you know, being able to fill out the whole bracket. Maybe play a different class on Happy Gorge as well. Anyway, back to Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was awful. Oh my god. Huh? I didn't say that. Max, um... why are you being mean, dude? What the hell? Why are you being mean? That's that's bro. terrible. You're an Alex, awful human. Can't you can't do that. Can't do that. Burr is such a nice guy. <laughs> Alright, next matter, what are we doing? Um, we're gonna go into the winner's bracket here in just one second, boys. But before we do, I just want to recap. Guys, if you missed the start of the tournament, exclamation mark, well, you're probably pretty lucky, but exclamation part uh, bracket in the chat, you'll be able to catch up with us to see what's happened. Uh, we're gonna start the winner's bracket round. Alright, winner's bracket round two. Oh man, Sidu, oh, Jesus. I mean, there is some serious bracket RNG taking place on this motherfucker. Some of like the best players, just basically the best at their class in the game, period, are already eliminated. <sighs> You won't beat Peo. It's going to be really tough. So, I can all... I'm relatively... I'm very confident, actually, in one win. Actually, no, I'm not. Fuck. I forgot about Nifty Stopwatch. Um, 40% movement speed. Damn, he matches with my travel. For how long does Nifty Stopwatch last? 10 seconds. So, when it comes to rogues... Rogues... He has improved sprint, so his sprint basically removes a root. I don't really care about that. It's not necessarily about rooting him. If I can get distance from him and basically make it to where I am I get away from him and he doesn't have sprint or nifty stopwatch off cooldown, he's not really going to kill me. Just get, And I can root him as much as I want at that point, assuming I have mana. So it's just playing around his speed increases, his... His uh, sprint and nifty stopwatch. Those are the two things that I'm like worried about. Mainly sprint. On top of that, like when he AGMs, I'm going to have to innervate. I'm, I don't have the fucking mana to kill someone that fucking pops AGM, dude. I just got to wait the 20 seconds. What's your health pool? Uh, if you minus 30, 320 health here, like 2,500-ish, that's about how much health I have. That's self-buffed. Let me change belts before I fucking forget. I need to put those on. Uh, fuck, I've got a lot of cloth on. Yeah, my bear form is pretty weak. But yeah. Dual starting? Oh, yeah, right. right. Kinda has the same feeling, dueling him. It's Slizzard and Seadoo, huh? So Slizzard running 2.5k health out of bear form, Seadoo running 2.6k. I don't know what Slizzard's gonna do. Alright, here we go, guys. Is Seadoo Ellie? Yeah, <laughs> God help him, dude. Oh, uh, just explaining this every time, it's so funny. Um, 
Yeah, so if you guys are watching the stream right now, uh, if you're in the tournament, no Heisenberg, sure I'm using that ring. Drop your dual flag down here. Wait three seconds for the duel to go off, then you can move back there. Um, but guys, can we get can we get some can, can we get some poggers in the chat for the previous dual tournament? Sinu, the dual tournament champion, I should say, and uh, got third place the first tournament as well. So this guy is ready to go, and we're expecting big things from him today as well. Sinu versus Slizzard. Druid versus Shaman, the first time we've seen this matchup, I believe, in the beta period. Yeah, my asshole. Slizzard opting to just go full melee onto Sidu. Really interesting. Um, oh, but the and the into the chain lightning, which gets resisted, it looks like. Whole. Oh, that was a he hit him, he hit him down to like 1% health, and Slizzard got the Ness off. There was no purge from Sidu. A big bash on Sidu and not resisted. Sidu trinkets that immediately. Here comes the chain lightning with a huge blast. It is not Slizzard's day right now against TG. Yeah. Like, druids get so fucked by Ellie shamans, more than I. I don't think I don't think Ellie shamans fuck any any fucking class harder than they do druids. I really don't. We have nothing to stop them from just chain lightning us. Nothing to stop it. Mage. Mage gets fucked by Ellie Shaman, but not as bad as Ellie Shaman fucks Druid. So Slizzard drinking up some whiz. Sidu will not have the elemental mastery in this next duel, so Slizzard has a much higher chance of winning. But if Sidu plays as well with the flame tongue and the flame shocks, it could be quite difficult for Slizzard. It's going to be a lot of damage. Did Slizzard manage to pop Frenzy Region in that duel? I don't think I saw that out from him. He was mainly out of bear. Is there any class that doesn't have a counter? No. Dog. Duels are a lot of the time rock, paper, scissors. There's a lot of bracket RNG, basically. Oh, hold on. I was gonna say it's tough to say what's uh, to see what Sidu's doing here because he's still charging up. The hell? I mean, dude, Slizzard doesn't have NS anymore. It's over. He just dies. Literally, just do damage. The druid is a target dummy. Dude, he was charging that chain lightning, dude. He's still. He just looks like into the crowd. He doesn't care, man. Dude, he's still charging his chain. Dude, what? What is this, dude? Guy went Super Saiyan four onto Slizzard. Uh, SL locks. I guess SL locks don't really have a counter. They can lose to rogues, but that's it. Too annoying. The druid Slizzard who drops down to the lower bracket. But uh, we shall continue. Next up, Serendipities versus Reverie. Druid versus druid. Shadow Priest. Hey! Yes. Uh, Reverie is... Uh. Getting summoned right now. Okay. How do you beat CD? How do you beat him? BM Hunter. I mean, he's a very good player. You need to get yourself geared to the teeth and have the right class. Then it can be very rock, paper, scissors at times, and sometimes what you need is just the counter. You need the paper to those uh, to those rocks, man. The question is, what is the what is the paper to his rocks? I don't think I've seen him drop a single duel uh, in any of the tournaments, and like even in practice, dude, the guy just he just wins. It's crazy. But I mean, uh, it's rough, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see if Reverie can beat a Shadow Priest God. Reverie, Shadow Priest versus Druid. We saw this matchup, probably the best matchup of the day so far. Clack versus Soda Poppin. We'll see how it goes right now with Reverie getting ready to open up on Saren. Yeah, the open here is the S trinket pop there. I say God, not necessarily saying Saren's a God. Just the class in itself is a God class. Yes, trinket, but that's not going to happen now. Reverie choosing to trinket that grenade instantly. Trying but Saren to is a really good shadow priest, and he's a troll. Jesus. Already in this duel, a second blackout frog there will be the yard. The awesome's going to come out. Here's the NS. No dispel there. Covers it with that awesome. Very nice play. Insect swarm and moonfire. Probably going to come out here. Mind play straight that back down onto Reverie. And Reverie, even though he has the same amount of health and the same amount of mana as Saren, Saren is massively up in this duel. He's forced that NS. He's got the grenade out. He's got the war stomp out. And he's just, as you can see, just completely draining. Reverie here, there is the fear. It's not going to be trinketed. He has no way to get out. He's popping his trinket already. He's dead. Silence comes down as well, just for good measure. And Saren chasing after him. Whole world of trouble here, but Reverie, nowhere to hide. And Saren is just going to take him down. Oh, never mind. Saren didn't even care to mind blast. Wait a second. 
Reverie goes Maybe for the grenade, though. Looks power. like he might be able to get the regrowth off through the Shadow Word paint, and he gets a oh huge, huge regrowth off. Meanwhile, staring completely, not completely, but but definitely low on mana. And he's oh, got the fuck. insect swarm ticking onto him with the Moonfire. Looks like Reverie's making a comeback here. Sarah dropping a 50% HP. Reverie. Mm, blackout proc. Yeah, it's he over. He does get the blackout proc. The huge blackout huge. proc into the nade. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, the comeback was real. Comeback minister almost with a new sermon, but not today. Saren takes him out. I think I spoke a bit too soon there. Slept on Reverie, but managed to almost claw himself back in. But Saren just beating him down there at the end. The blackout procs, dude. Is there anything more frustrating for a melee it's class? Control, man. It's oh. full control, especially with the Shadow Guard as well. You can refresh that as well, don't forget the Shadow Guard, so... I had chance over a jewel for those blackout procs to hit you, and it's, it's really tough, really tough playing a melee class. Ooh, the blue one. Thank you, man. I think Priest. What happens here? Last time, Soda versus Black. It looked like Soda came out on top and is going. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, ended up progressing in the matchup with Clack dropping down, but this time, Saren looks to have the upper hand here. Don't think he don't think he dropped too many cooldowns in that duel either. Check his trinkets here. He's got the Goblin Bomb Dispenser, that Mario throwback, and the Gnomish cloaking device. I think Reverie used his Mithril oh, Insignia no, last duel, which is like his one big cooldown, right? Ready to open. So we'll see what happens here. If Saren can take the series two zero, or if Reverie can claw his way back. He used the NS super early on in that last duel, so I believe there's probably about 30 seconds left on that. And he's he going may have the NS actually already. He's going for the Dragonling and the Net this time around. Is that Saren, sorry, or is that Reverie? Um, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, Reverie with the Dragon. Another oh, Connect Out right onto the altar. Yep, instant fear. Yeah, and he gets feared away instantly there. Warstomp comes out. Reverie gonna try and keep himself up here. Saren wants to dispel as many things as possible. A second blackout. There's been like 75 blackouts in this duel already. The nade comes down as well. And there's silence. That is it. Duel is over. Yeah, that and will dead. be it. 2 0 no for Saren. Reverie has legitimately zero counterplay for that. The blackout procs, man. RNG Jesus, not on the side of Reverie today, but he's still in this tournament, dropping down to lower bracket. Saren 2 0 him, however. As he moves on to face Sidu in round three, that's going to be a very, very exciting duel. Uh, Both great players in their own right. And uh, Shaman versus Shadow Priest. This is actually a rematch of what happened in the original duel tournament, where Saren got griefed with the totem, uh, with the Torin dropping on the totems and grieving the totems. That was the problem. So th this is definitely a big rematch here. I know Saren had a lot of, you know, a lot of anger he wanted to take out. He was pretty upset at the griefing last tournament so we'll see if he gets his revenge on Sidu today but next up snuts and bruce wayne hunter versus warlock the battle of the pets it's gonna be a nice little circus going on here and um we haven't snuts. seen snuts duel in a while today it's been a long time since these rank one uh, these uh, round one matches yeah this is a pretty stacked matchup right here bruce wayne isn't as good as bean we saw bean Take out Snuts in the last duel tournament, being geared to the teeth. I believe Snuts has a lot of gear as well, but Snuts is playing that Soul Link spec. He's going for a bit of a, a, bit, for a bit of a gamble, I guess. He wants to see if he can make it through versus... Bruce is literally is less bean with less game. gear. Have that improved corruption, in my opinion. Um, because you only have they they literally play exactly the same. So Snuts needs to stay alive as long Just as possible. Just one has more gear. Tips. Here we go. Uh, Bruce Wayne immediately going for the kite. And drops the Viper Sting, which starts eating away at Zul, Snuts' everyone mana. is BM. Every Snuts single has hunter. Warlock, pretty mana efficient. He does have the uh, he does have the life tap whenever he needs it. Bruce, however, low on mana. Gets hit by the by the nade. Big nade. But the intimidation onto Snuts, preventing from falling up on that nade too much. The net goes out onto Bruce, though, who drops a trap. Gets the Warlock out of the picture for now. But Snuts fears Wiener Guy. And uh, he's, he's just flopping around all over the place now. Nice big nade onto Snuts and the Warlock does Bruce win, but look at his mana. He's completely out of mana, as is Snuts. Is this a, it's a battle of auto attacks versus um, auto shots versus wand attacks? And we'll see what ends up happening 
But Bruce popping the dragonling, calling him to his aid. He's got the lion, There's he's got the sack. tiger, he's got the dragon. And it looks like Snuts will reciprocate. Um, can, can you target Bruce? Dragon, but target Bruce, not the dragon link. Not sure if it's going to be enough. Snuts does sack his demon, though. Did he use Feldon there? Yeah, yeah he, he used Feldon right there. So all the cooldowns used by Health Stone has already been used at the same time. He's going to have to fear this pet immediately and try and get in range of Bruce here. But Bruce just max range, has the Viper down onto Snuts. Snuts will not be able to life tap back up here because it will end up killing him. Killing, killing him, sorry. And the one's coming down. It's about at the range. Who's going to win this? I think Snuts might actually take this. No way! That's huge from Snuts. The second sack to pop the Absorb Shield and prevent Bruce from finishing off Snuts. Double sacked. Feldom is used, though, and this is a best of three. 15-minute cooldown. Yeah, so that's that's a very, very, very big upset. The Hunter should win that matchup based on the fact that Snuts is playing that uh, that Soul Link spec. It's very difficult for Snuts to get in range. He doesn't have the extra range on his Affliction spells from the um, the Affliction tree. He doesn't have the, the improved... Um, corruption to get the instant dot onto to Bruce and Bruce can just run away keep Viper stinging him and slowly whittle him down so very big upset there from Snuts but a lot of cooldowns used a lot of things invested we'll see if Snuts can follow up on that in this second duel here he will of course not have to fell down for the rest of this duel series unless something happens and we're going to try to move the dueling flag as far back as possible to give these men some kiting space and um Looked like Bruce kind of got kind of got locked out there at the corner, so I'm gonna try to move this as far back as we can. Is Snuts SL? Really I don't think Snuts is SL. I, think I don't see so, SL. I, I'm kind of paranoid about going too far out here and getting locked out, you know? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, round two, kicking it off here. Snuts versus Bruce Wayne. Snuts up 1-0 in the series, and we're ki kicking it off here. First global from the boys is going to be a Curse of Agony into a nade and a Viper Sting as well. BM has been popped. BM, of course, two-minute cooldown. Snuts looking to get close the gap towards Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, though, on the edge of the mountain here. Snuts wants to get the fear off. Bruce needs to try and outrange this. Fear is a 20-yard range. He feigns that, starts drinking. Trap is down now. No Viper on him to break that. The nade as well so is going to keep Bruce moving, and Snuts in a world of trouble here, Tips. Big cooldowns used, and as you said, dude, the big clutch nade coming off, off the freezing trap, keeping Snuts further back enough just to be able to get some more space. And Wiener guy is just, he's just all over Snuts. And Bruce Wayne, meanwhile, he's chilling. He's low on mana, though. So this is definitely going to be a grind. But the battle chicken enrages and is all over Snuts, as is the cat. And Snuts is just taking a lot of damage. Yeah, the Snuts just loses. Removing his mana from the equation, Bruce Wayne. Low on mana as well, but he has the damage of his pets all over Snuts, who does pop the do uh, does pop the sack. So we'll see how long Snuts is able to hold out with this shield before taking the killing blow. And the battle chicken rages once again. It's so close, dude. It's so the nade onto Bruce Wayne from Snuts into the wand. Is it enough? No, the freezing trap. Hmm. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. 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 I'm on stream. Hey. 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 You want to be on? You on stream? Yeah, this is this is my ch this is my show. This isn't about you. Hey. It's we we have our own thing going on. Oh jeez. Okay. Let me just let me just turn my camera a little away. Let me just. Yeah. No. Let me turn the camera away a little bit. Oh. Hey. He's following my camera. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. See, all these people just want it all about them sometimes. I swear. It's crazy. <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but I actually need to go Snuts down here. Snuts making his health stone, summoning his pets. Boy is getting prepared <laughs> for this matchup right now. Again, Snuts will not have that fell drum, so Snuts is going to have to play out of his mind here. Try and close the gap. Bruce Wayne does not want to get feared. Wants to keep him at distance and just whittle him down. Prevent Snuts from using that life tap. Maybe even get a trap onto the pet at some point. I don't know if that would be possible to prevent the sack. I guess if he wants to do that, he'd have to run into fear range, which is not something he'd want to do. Does Bruce have the fear immune trinket tips? Um, I'm going to go ahead and inspect him here. It looks like he does. He does the glimmering mithril insignia. 30 second fear resistance and the gnomish cloaking device. And he goes in viz right away, but Snuts Shoot. catches up with a grenade. Oh my God, Bruce in a big trouble here. 
Got caught, I think, an aspect of the cheetah, so he's dazed up, but he reciprocates with the nade onto Snuts, who looks like he's charging Kamehameha here on my screen, but he drops the Frost Trap, slows Snuts down, gains as much distance as he can, but Bruce in a little bit of trouble here. He's got Curse of Agony and Corruption ticking on him, dropping low on HP. Meanwhile, Snuts, the Viper Sting is eating him away, and the Intimidation coming off from Wiener Guy. A big, intimidating Wiener onto Snuts' face. Uh, but Bruce just getting whittled down by these dots and the Warlock. And now he's completely yeah. out of mana. Out of completely mana. Out of mana. Snuts out of mana as well, though. Are we seeing another wand versus auto shot combination? But Bruce, Bruce, oh. Bruce, he goes down. Oh, just wow. Too much huge. damage. Oh, my God. That is huge from Snuts. Poor Bruce. That's huge. That's his, that's his biggest counter right now in this tournament. So Snuts getting himself through there. I like to see that. Very well played by Snuts. Absolutely. I'm just going to reload the UI here real quick. Got a bunch of animation bugs. But uh, you're absolutely right. Snuts moves on to the second round. That, that was a great series. That was a really, really good series. Um, it was a 2-1. And next up we oh, have to yeah. Toes versus Guzu. Come on, Guzu. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Guzu. Guzu. What? Was actually uh, eliminated in the previous round. And we're going to change this up. It's actually Krosik versus Toes. Who? Shadow Priest Warlock. Oh. You have physical running in, I thought it was Bean and Fizz. Looks like we might have some guests of honor uh, in this tournament once again. I'm going to see if uh, if Crisco is still here. Krosik. Okay. Oh, that was the warlock, Krisik like or Krosik. Oil or something like that. He is <laughs> no idea. right here with Guzu. <laughs> okay. So Krosik. Is it Bean versus Fizz? Be Am I looking at the wrong? Uh... Yeah, it's oh, Fizz it and Bean. Versus Fizz. It is Bean versus Fizz. I was looking at the wrong match. Okay, Bean versus Fizz. Here we go. All right, let's get the dual flag down. Winner of this tournament will move on to face Snuts in the next matchup, and Snuts is, look Snuts is looking scary in this tournament already, Tibbs. Fizz and Bean, fuck. Warlocks, I almost want to you know, jump in a call with them. You underestimate them, no matter what the meta is, even without Death Coil. But we're not talking about Warlocks right now. We're talking about Shaman and Hunters. Bean looking to avenge his friend Bruce Wayne. And Bean, again, one of those guys that's been playing the beta day in, day out, farming up, fully stacked with gear. And him and Fizz are actually close friends as well. So we'll see how this ends up. We'll see if this tarnishes their friendship in any way. But the nade from Fizz going in for the heal instead. Opting to play defensively instead of offensively. Fuck, I didn't even Bean, see it. Low on HP right now. Can't get the distance away. The Earthbind Totem keeping him snared. Whereas Fizz, even with the wing clip, not too concerned. Come on, Fizz. And Bean now in range for Earthshock damage. Does he get it off? Does Fizz? He oh. does. Physical. Taking down Bean in the first match. Good job, Fizz. He does, but I think a bit of an overplay there by Fizz to use the NS. He was completely fine. There was no threat of damage there, so he could have saved that for the second duel. So be on the lookout for that now. Fizz needs to play just as well as he played this first match in order to not have that, not be uh, at a loss for using the NS at the end of that. Sorry, I had to run to this round. area. Like, I'm basically on duty right now as defense since I'm not, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see how Fizz does without his CD. And um, Bean just, he's got to get the distance. I mean, how do you get distance on a Shaman? I'm guessing that, did, did he, uh, I'm not sure if he went for the Feign Death Trap. Did you go for the Feign Death Trap at all? I missed the start of the duel. Um, what spec is Bean playing? I think he's going BM. Okay. He can go for the Feign Death Trap. That can be grounded. It can also be redirected to another totem if it's put on top. Um, but it's very difficult to land those unless you put a nade down beforehand. Here we go. Physical immediately with the, uh, the net, which backfires, but charges him into melee range of Bean. So didn't backfire too much, although physical is just stuck there. And Bean will get the cutting distance that he needs. Damn. You know, physical playing it more defensively, not going for the big chain lining, instead opting, opting to heal back up as he takes damage from Oreo. And Bean, without any dots on him, no flame shocks, is able to bandage back up. Here comes the concussor blow. Here comes the kiting. But Bean running out of space at the very edge of the dueling area and trying to do what he can. Applies the wing clip and tries to run away. Flame shock ticking on him. Physical at sub 50% HP, however, 
Frost Shock onto Bean, keeping him kited once again. Wing Clip, is that an improved Wing Clip? No, it is not. Uh, Fizz, oh still god, on the come chase. on, Fizz. Bean just can't get the distance, Perp. He just, he's just stuck. Take him out, Fizz. Yeah, when Bean's in that range, when Bean's in melee range, take him out, Fizz. Away, so the leeway doesn't get. Activated. Oh shit! I think so it's over. Actually hitting him from an extra couple yards away because of that leeway, and it looks like Fizz is going to be completely fine there. Bean, oh, he misses the nade though, but still manages to close the gap onto Bean. And Bean, oh no, he needs to get away from this shaman immediately. But the earth going to come down as well. It's over. It doesn't finish him off, and this look is going to be one Damn. Time going down to the wire. Fizz whiffing the nade, Bean responding with his own nade to get the distance he needed to get the auto shots off. Um, it was a close nade though. I can see why Fizz predicted going that way, but Bean follows up with his own nade and takes Fizz down. This dual area, it and really fucks kiting chat, classes. <laughs> like any class that kites. You know, these are two yeah. friends of mine. I, I wish them both the best in this. In this Druids uh, get this fucked by this. Match, but, Hunters get fucked by this. I just want to be in the Discord right now. Here. Mage is not as much. They don't. They like kite, but like they don't move around that much because everyone's so fucking slow. So they don't really cover crazy distance. But druids and hunters get really fucked by this zone. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm back. I have a little incident coming up. No, no worries, man. Hopefully, all is well. Yep. Dude, there was a gnarly earthquake here the other day. Um, freaking huge. Well, if you I look, parked in my car. This uh, car if you look at this dual flag. Like, it, it's literally half of a dual area, because you can't go that way. You can't. So, we're working with half a of a dual area right here. Right now, the Shaman using the power of the elements to completely shock Bean and crack the ground beneath them. Physical going hard onto Bean, who's at 70% HP right now, already from the start of the duel. Bean, though, hits the nade onto Fizz, applies the wing clip, and finally gets the freezing trap that he's looking for. Bean going to be able to fully reset here, bandage back up, while Fizz is waiting in the wings. And we'll see what Fizz decides to do. Playing very cautiously, baiting out the pet, able to get the heal back up, but being once again not able to get the kiting distance oh. that he needs, applies the wing clip and tries to move forward. And I think he's just trying to play it too far out, too linear. He's got to kite around if he's going to get the distance, but we'll see if he's able to do so now. Big intimidation onto Fizz. So he stunned back up, did get Bean. A little bit of distance here, but he gets dazed up. I think Fizz got him. Held on to, held on to Aspect of the Cheetah just a little bit too long. Oh, wait. But Bean. Oh, the AGM. Can he do it? Can he deliver? Is this regular or double stuff? Looks like it's double stuff. And Fizz gets stuffed down into the lower bracket. Yeah, that AGM at Ooh. the end there. Keeping Bean alive. A completely loud item. Of course, Physical has one of those of his own. And a 2-1 for Bean. As you said, sends Fizzle down into that lower bracket. It's good to have a lower bracket, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chance for redemption for all participants. But uh, but as we move on to this upper bracket here, uh, next up we have three. <laughs> I like how Snuts now has to go against Crossics. basically another yeah, BM hunter that has more gear. Yep. Basically level two BM hunter. Okay, who's next? Toes and Crossic. Okay. So Shadow Priest Warlock. Yeah, Wait. Toes could get taken out here. Warlocks fuck Shadow Priests. All right. Um. All right, here we go. All right, I can't watch this duel right now, I'm sorry. I have to go help. They're here. They're here to collect their attention. Looks like we've got some PvP action going on. The Alliance paying a visit to the Horde in Orgrimmar. where we decide to initiate here. I want to give you guys the full POV before we go ham. I got you, Ben. Gilnash overextending a little bit, but he does get the heal off. <laughs> Not sure if they'll be able to finish him off. Meanwhile, that mage just missed us. back lines of the Alliance. Chico, man, just free casting. But it looks like they're spread out too far in the Blind. Hole. Jumping up onto them. Yeah, very nice. Did this guy just double blind us? I actually like it. Um... 
I think it's a nice flank there. I think the alliance is getting Huge separated. Nade. And it looks like all the alliance out here on the wing got taken down. So uh, I don't have like B res on right, my bar. But we'll see what happens. Um, oh, but if, the, if they bait the horde in closer, they can suffer them as they group up. So this could be a very clever play here from the alliance. Possibly. We'll see what ends up happening. Alliance are kiting back, draining the mana of these horde players. They have paladins, so they, they survive in those longer fights. I've got to say... a lot more focused on first. Sorry, just go on. No, no. Please, go ahead. I was, I was just saying, the Horde are much more are favored much more in the burst side of things. Alliance have a lot more longevity in these longer fights. So the fact they're kiting back here, the Mages with the Improved this is going down. And the more these Horde players stack, the more vulnerable they're going to be to the AoE attacks of the Alliance. Alliance swinging back in now. we got Zolp in the mix here. It's all just kicking off here. There's AoE attacks going down everywhere. Alliance I got a Sabre charge off cooldown. I think you're playing as well since I hear the keyboard popping off here. I'm Big playing in a different in way. In a different way. In a different way. <laughs> Looks like Peo's gonna take down Rich Turpin there. Of course, Rich Turpin, one of the worst rogues in vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful, honestly. Um, let's keep going. <laughs> I mean, when your number one move is uh, killing people on 10% health on stream. I mean, it's pretty tough to say anything nice. <laughs> it is what it is, but we got ourselves a tournament to finish. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a five minute break while everybody deflags. And uh, yeah, I'll take like, like four or five minutes. Uh, I'm just going to drop down to the competitors discord real quick, guys. Check in on everybody. See if everybody's doing all right. We've been going for... Around four and a half hours right now, I would say, um, since we started the tournament. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute the stream for just a second, and uh, I will be right back, guys. All right, I'm going to play my own music. Are you ready for a little payo? I'm not ready for a little payo, man. I'm really not. I'm, I'm confident that I can get one win versus Peo. I don't think it's... Ugh, fuck, I say this. I don't think it's going to be a 2-0 and o for him. Uh, I predict it's going to be 1-2, and two, meaning I lose. That's what I would guess. And the reason I'm confident I'm going to get one win is because I know how dependent he is on like a movement speed cooldown, and I can also use AGM. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I beat a fucking Shadow Priest. I did my goddamn job. <laughs> Fuck off. How much food do I have left? 17? Shit, I might need to go to a vendor. Fook, mate. Here, be back. Oh, Mick's got me? Okay, thank you. Mick, are you not in this group? I don't see him. Alright, I, uh, while well, we're kind of AFK waiting, I'll be back.
Ooh, I'm back. I saw this. I was talking with Nick and Melina and Marco. What's up? Listen, I gotta say something to your stream. You wanna say something to my stream? Hey, did you guys see me? Okay, I, I saw a couple people saying there's ads, so Nick must be here. It's not me. Okay, it's it's not. It's not. I'm not running ads. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, the average gamer official. Wadu. Oh, Devious Mod. GLX Word. Boop. Because they cap everything that doesn't fit their agenda. Hi, Soda. No, oh, hello. Oh, are they ready? Oh, shit, they're ready. Okay, okay, okay. Love you, Pendulum, but... Absolutely. Um, Shadow Priest be, Lock. It's really hard for Toast, so I'm really interested to see how he's gonna play that one out because you saw the same matchup earlier, uh, Lesante versus Nuts. So this is gonna be interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, the one thing going in Toast's favor right now is, again, Krosik, one of the individuals that filled in uh, sort of at the last minute, so maybe not quite as prepared from a gear perspective as Toes. We'll see if that works in Toes's favor or if the matchup prevails. But obviously, we'll see how these gentlemen skill up here. Let's drop the dual flag, and here we go. Priest Warlock. Any Warlocks or Priests in the chat? Let's get some Pogs for your class, boys. Let's do it. Got a P. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I still believe Toes is pretty much the guy to win this tournament. I think he's a huge favorite. Very, very, very good player. Incredibly practiced as well. Um, I've heard a ton of good things about him from Chris Lid as well. Chris Lid is another world-class player who's thankfully playing vanilla with us. Very nice. Um, yeah, Toes, highly regarded in the community, uh, unlike his cousin Hands, but we'll see if Toes can pull it off. <laughs> They already and, started uh, with that, dude. That was terrible. I don't know. I got to drop a dad joke here and there, dude. I... <laughs> Anyways, cut me, some, cut me some slack. Okay, here we go. Uh, Toes, does he, does, he, uh, does he pop? No, he's just got the power word shield. Does he hit that nade? Whiffs slightly, but the battle chicken enrages. And... Big fear. Big fear. Onto Krosik, who trinkets the fear right away. But he's taken so much damage thus far. And with the fell hunter here, we'll see if Toes is able to deal with this. Yeah, it seems like Toes is fine here. He can just fake this, the, the locks from the Fell Hunter. Fell Hunter trying to dispel that power shield, doesn't get it. Mind Blast coming down onto Krozik here. He's going to spell so Jesus. That, um amount of magic damage onto himself, though. And Krozik is going to push forward now into Toes. Toes running kind of oom here, just a little bit. It's going to be quite difficult for him to, to get a reset off here. He would have to fear both the pet and the Warlock, and they both have a mass amount oh, of Oh, is he dead? But but look at that Seems chicken like go. The chickens just popped off. The cock in the ass Krozik, and that's going to be it. Oh, my God, dude. It was it was all red and angry and, and swollen and, and just, just relentless, dude. I think that's a TOS violation right there. Um, yeah, tips advertising is grinding the profile. <laughs> Round two coming up. It's Chatterbait. Okay, take it easy. All right, Whoa. let's go. Uh, in this best of three. If Toes wins this, I think he has a straight shot. Or damn near, at least. So the boys are going to create spells in there, drink up to full. What do you think, Max? Think Toes, Toes. is going to take this 2-0? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not a straight shot. Never mind. What Toes do you think Krozik can do to maybe very, bring it back? Very solid. Either one of these could he be really to tough, actually. More often. He has to fear so. more often. Keep in mind, it's a troll. He has to use the trinket. Only has it once. Try to drain his mana. That's what he needs to do. We go as both competitors mana up. We'll get the dual flag down and we'll get ready to go. Here we go, moving into round two. 
The boys have to stand still for this dual flag to work. So he's just going to min-max that, that mana there after the power word shield. Will he reshield though? He will reshield. So Toe's not a BM player, a very sportsmanlike player. We'd like to see that. A lot of mages and priests will, will BM with the shield and wait for the cooldown. But here we go. Round two, first global Zara out. The mechanical dragonling coming out from Toes here, straight over them to Krozik. An unfortunate blackout though onto Krozik, not dispelled by the, the Fell Hunter. Fell Hunter going straight towards the pet and back on towards Toes now. Tongues is out as well now. Toes cannot deal with the tongues on, on him because he doesn't have the D curse because he's not a mage. Krozik though, trying to walk back. Shadowwood is popped. And Toes going to dispel that off immediately. More dispels coming out now as well as Krozik trying to deal with the add of this pet. Toes can't heal that pet up. He can shield it though, of course, but it will go down now. And Krozik looking to get some pressure back onto Toes. Toes' mana dropping just ever so slightly. The shield comes down as well. Is, will it be dispelled? I, don't, I think a dispel came out there, but it didn't get rid of the shield. Nate comes out now, and here comes the fear onto Toes. Toes going to instantly trinket that now. Look for a refear from Krozik. You'd want to see it, but it's not coming out, Tips. And it looks like Toes, after the spell lock, is going to be up in this matchup. He hit a big grenade onto Krozik, but it didn't last quite as long as he needed to. Pops the power word shield. And it looks to recover if he can. But the Fell Hunter just all over Toes right now. He's going to be able to get this Mind Blast off. He does. But just no ability to reset right now. So low on mana. Does he want to dispense it to heal? Whereas Krosik is kind of just chilling in the back. Kiting away. Not forcing the issue. Playing very patiently as he should. There's the next power word shield by Toes, getting whatever wand ticks he can down. And he's completely out of mana now. Yeah, it's very difficult for Toes to reset. He needs to walk towards the Warlock. The Warlock needs to keep the pet where it is so he doesn't get the double clear onto that. And then Toes needs to eat. He's trying to get a couple ticks off a of bandage here. I don't think he got a single tick off there. And Krozik is going to look to Toes take is dead. Fight. I don't know where that nade went. Interesting nade, but that is 1-1. One, one. All right. A little bit of a, a frame stutter here on mind. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but hopefully the graphics card is not dying right now. Um, but Krosik does take that match. That's good for me. Yes, you're right. I really want Krosik to win this if I'm yeah, being one, one you know, selfish and whatever helps me what more, right? From toes? I cannot beat Toes. I don't know. Honestly, I can beat Krosik. It, but it seems like Krosik is doing a comeback. I would love to see some more Dream Mana, though, from Krosik on Toes. Yeah, Krozik can live this as long as he just sort of dampens toes just a little bit. Yeah, needs to use the What about Saren? Mind, well, at that point, Bean and Saren are. Uh, if there's three people I'm just extremely scared of. Um, it's Saren, Bean, and Toes. And I'm scared of other people too. Like, I go against Peo next. I'm scared of him, but it's just not at the same level as those three. Um, those three, I, I, I truly don't know how to win. Basically, Shadow Let Priest and BM Hunter. Finish off this best of three series now at 1 1. Soul Link Warlock. 30% of damage taken by Master is split with the Demon. All damage increased by 3%. Such a difficult ability to deal with when it can't be, dis when you don't dispel it. And Toes against the unfavorable matchup but was but was able to take down uh, a Krosik in the first game so we'll see if he's able to do that once again and capture this best of three like you guys mentioned 